everybody and welcome or indeed welcome back to the channel now at time of recording i have 96 subscribers which is absolutely fantastic i can't quite believe it i've only been going for what nearly three weeks just over three weeks in fact and to have 96 to have nearly 100 subscribers already is fantastic so thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed thank you to everyone who's watched liked and commented on my videos i am really really grateful now today it's a lovely sunny saturday morning it's uh, nearly quarter past nine saturday the 20th of april jobs on the list to do today well although there's no action yet with the sweet pea seeds but that's to be expected i do want to prepare the fence panels with some trellis in readiness for when the sweet peas have grown and are ready to plant out. So that's one job that I must do. The other job I must do is on the strawberry planter. If you remember from a previous video, the base had fallen out. So I've had to reinforce that, fix and reinforce that. In the process of it all falling out, all the soil came down. So I have had to put all that soil back in. All that soil needs a really good mix up now and some of the lumps and bumps taking out and maybe some fresh compost putting in as well just to add some extra nutrients so i'm going to sift that soil to make it perfect for the strawberry plants and then i need to go to the garden center to buy some strawberry plants whiz back home plant those in the planter cover it and those strawberries then that job then is finished um what else have i got oh i've got one other job to do which is for a future video so i'll keep that one as a surprise Little spec check is what's going on in the uh, greenhouse. Well, as I say, nothing quite happening yet with the sweet peas. The tomato plants, I can't believe it. We now have eight plants that have germinated, eight seeds germinated. Uh, so nearly 50% germination rate. Um, nothing yet with the spring onions. The peas are looking fantastic. Let me fetch one over. The peas are looking absolutely wonderful. Look at that. Um, so they are thriving in the greenhouse, not so much in the outdoors planter, but again, that's to be expected. They are germinating, however, which is good news. The kale, the kale is looking fantastic. Look at that, that is looking good. So um, I still, still need to research and find out when do I plant that kale out into my planter. Not yet, I'm sure, because it's still too tiny, but um, I'll do some Googling and I'll find the answer. But for now, I'm going to go to the garage, I'm going to get the tools and I'm going to crack on and fix up my trellis for my sweet peas. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I've been through all the posts now and I've put a mark here and where is it gone? A mark here and just done a pilot hole so that these things, cup hooks, can be screwed in. So now I've done all my pilot holes. I'm going to go around each one. There's on that side, there's here, here and then there. I'll screw in these cup hooks and then I can get on with doing the string. So I'm going to put you back over there and uh, yeah, we'll get on with it. Okay, so... There we are, pilot holes drilled, five centimeters apart, and then cup hooks, 11 on each side, screwed in and ready for the string.
there we go, all strung up. Um, as you can see, I've thread it across here, all the way along here, and then at this point here, I went down and across. And you can see here, I've rotated these cup hooks just so that the uh, string doesn't slip off. Unfortunately, as is always the case, ran out of string there. So I've got two more rungs to do. So when I go to the garden centre today, I will uh, buy some more and finish off that job this afternoon. Okay, we're back in the greenhouse now. So that's a really good job done, except for the fact that I need to get a little bit more string just to finish off the final two rungs on the second fence panel. But mostly complete, mostly completed, ready for the sweet peas. I am feeling a little bit impatient and I might buy some sweet peas that have already been germinated and started to grow from the garden center, plant those now, and then when these seeds that I've sown germinate and are ready to be planted out, I guess we'll have a little bit of succession planting on the sweet pea front, perhaps. I'll see how much they are when I go to the garden center because I also need to buy some more string, some compost, and some strawberries. So we'll see what all that comes to. Um, and if I've got a bit of spare cash, I might buy some sweet peas anyway. On to job number two, and that is to sift the soil in the strawberry planter. Okay, so not an easy job, but a job well done. This is all nice and fine now, or at least as fine as I can get it. Um, this is everything that came out. So lumps of clay stuff, sticks, old dead plants. So I think that was a job worth doing. I am still gonna get some compost just to add to this, just to add in some extra nutrients. But the next job for me is to go to the garden center, pick up some strawberry plants, whack them in, put my wire hoops over, put the net over and then that's job done. So, let's go to the garden centre. Hello everybody, right, so we've been to the garden centre and I've picked up some strawberries. I've got eight strawberry plants, here they are, so we're going to bob those into the planter very soon. Um, but I also did a little Google, a little Google search to find out what are the best kind of companion plants for strawberries. And um, I discovered that, is it borage or borage? Borage is a good companion plant, um, so we chose two of those. And also mint is a good companion plant. So I got a pineapple mint and I got a orange mint, which sounds nice. Smell minty. <laughs> um, a culinary herb. Maybe they'll be good for um, mint tea, perhaps. But most importantly, they are uh, a companion plant for my strawberries. For the mint plants from past experience, they go a little bit bonkers. So I'm actually gonna plant these in a pot in the planter rather than just direct planting them into the planter so they don't spread like crazy so i'm going to uh, set these out and get them planted put the wire over the top put the mesh over the top and then those will all be ready hopefully for a summer of strawberries let's crack on super okay so we've got strawberry 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 then here we have some mint borage uh, borage and mint so overall that is what i'm calling our strawberry planter and um, hopefully we have lots of strawberries from this the previous strawberry plants in this planter were not very good and didn't give very many fruits i think they were just very old so hopefully these new plants will give us lots of strawberries this summer um, got these wires here which create a hoop for the mesh so hopefully that will keep the birds away from nibbling on my strawberries and um, it's quite easy to access we we'll just unhook it here from this drawing pin and reach in but I would like to do a more permanent fixture here with a hinged lid that lifts up I've seen a few people do that on YouTube already this if you're interested is my makeshift tripod for my camera 
anyway moving on there we go job done so what have we done today we've so far today at least because the day's not over done the uh, trellis there for the sweet peas been to the shop and got some strawberries and herbs for the strawberry planter um, I'm gonna flip you around we're gonna go into the greenhouse here we are we're in the greenhouse now so yeah some good jobs done today so far it is only well, what time is it it is only well it's not even noon so still got a whole afternoon of um, jobs to do what jobs do we have well i went to lidl last week and i picked up some cucumber seeds um, so i'd like to get those sown this afternoon and um, also some basil uh, when do i plant when do i sow basil i'm not sure if it tells me so i need to find out when the right time to sow basil is but i'd like to sow the basil because i know that basil is a good companion plant to tomato plants which are in the greenhouse germinating as we speak so i'd like to get this going um, in readiness for when i plant the tomato plants out in the greenhouse in their grow bags so those are a couple of jobs i'd like to do this afternoon but for now i'm going to go inside wash up uh, and think about having some lunch and i will uh, be back soon to carry on with uh, the day's jobs in the garden and the greenhouse so bye for now Hello everybody, lunch has been had and I'm back in the greenhouse now. Just a, two more jobs to do. Um, I've mentioned before I went to Lidl last week and picked up some seeds and I got these, some basil and cucumber seeds. They were 29 pence a packet or four packets for a pound. I got four packets. Um, cheap as chips. So cucumbers i'm going to sow the cucumbers um only six into these pots here so one seed per pot the idea with the cucumbers is that once they've grown i'm going to buy an obelisk um which is a kind of a metal structure about two meters tall it's going to go over here in the greenhouse and um, i'm going to plant the cucumbers on into a big 50 liter bucket um, the obelisk will stand in the 50 litre bucket and the cucumbers will grow up and around. Um, I don't know if six is too many or not enough or just right, so um, I'll do some further research. But of course, I can't plant them out until I've sown them, so that's one job. The other job is to sow some basil. I'm going to sow the basil in these plug trays. Um, now the basil, as I've mentioned before, is a great companion plant for tomatoes. The tomatoes will also be going in the greenhouse, so I will plant some basil in and amongst the tomato plants once they've germinated and grown and once I've planted them out. I'm also going to plant the basil in uh, some upside down drinks bottles, one and a half litre drinks bottles that I have. And I'm going to create a vertical garden on one of the fence posts over there. So you turn the bottle upside down, you cut a hole in it and you plant your basil in that. That's what I'm going to plant the basil in. Basil in that. You pierce some holes in the lid of the bottle. And then every time you water that plant, the excess water flows through into the next bottle, into the next bottle, into the next bottle. And in each one of those bottles, I'm going to start with basil and I might venture further with some other herbs as well. So it'll just brighten up that corner, it'll make that fence post a little bit more interesting and uh, yeah, a little bit of vertical gardening to boot. Why not? So um, yeah, so basil and cucumbers are going to be sown. Now I'm going to have a sip of coffee first, move the camera down, I'm just going to get on with it. So I'll see you on the other side.
There we go. Wow. Okay. What a productive Saturday. Very, very happy with how everything has gone. I won't recap again everything that we've done. Uh, all I'll say is that um, I'm really pleased with how everything's going. I really hope some of these empty pots or pots with seeds in um, start to germinate soon and we see some life. I am very excited to see the sweet peas come through. Obviously the tomatoes are coming through already. Um, I want to see more of those coming through. Very excited to see the spring onions come through as well. Yeah, it's all looking fabulous. I'm having a fantastic time. By the way, after lunch, I had a quick check. I am now at 102 subscribers. And that is absolutely phenomenal. I am so, so happy. Thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed. Of course, if you are enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, please leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation. And if you would like to see more of my videos and help support my channel, then please do press that subscribe button. Anyway, that's it for me for today. I'm going to do lots of tidying up, find a permanent home for the basil and for the uh, cucumbers. Um, I think I called them peas earlier on. For the cucumbers, uh, yeah, find a permanent home for those guys and uh, a general tidy up. And then I'm going to go inside finish my coffee and start editing this video and hopefully get it up and published today. Okay, um, yeah, that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you again in the next video. Bye bye.